is up because India was ruled for five, six hundred years by Muslims and then for uh, two hundred years by, by, the, by the English who were Christians. So they target basically the two communities right now. But any ideology which is based on racial sup uh, supremacy eventually will target all other uh, races, all other religions. So Prime Minister, do you think no one but Prime Minister Modi is to blame for the current the state of relationship between India and Pakistan? Absolutely. He is responsible uh, because, you know, I know India very well because uh, as a cricketer, India is a cricket bad country. And so I, you know, I have uh, uh, had a lot of love and respect in India. And so when I came into government, my first move was to uh, immediately have uh, improve our relationship with India. And I called up Narendra Modi and I said, we want to reset our relationship based on trust and we want to move forward and solve all, all our issues through dialogue. Uh, and I never got any response. No, uh, not just did not get any response, in fact, his election campaign was all anti-Pakistan, all how he was going to te teach Pakistan a lesson. And, uh, you know, uh, and, and, and that's what he did when he came into power the second, when he won the elections, completely on jingoistic, anti-Pakistan uh, rhetoric. He then, the next, when he came into power, I mean, that's when he clamped down on Kashmir. Kashmir is a disputed territory between Pakistan and India since 1948, 47. Uh, and the United Nations Security Council resolutions, which clearly state that the people of Kashmir were going to be allowed to decide their own destiny through a, a referendum, through a plebiscite. That plebiscite never took place. India never allowed that to happen because clearly they realized that any plebiscite, because it was a Muslim majority province, they would, they would want to come to Pakistan. Hence, they did not allow that to happen. Uh, but there was always, Kashmir had the special status because of the UN Security Council resolution. But uh, 5th August 2019, Narendra Modi uh, did away with that article, that special article which gave Kashmir that special status, Article 370, and, and, and just got, got, uh, got rid of the special status. But not only that, he then, he is now subsequently trying to uh, change the demography of Kashmir by settling outsiders, Hindus coming into Kashmir, settling them there so that the demography would be changed, so that if in future there is a referendum or a plebiscite, the majority would be Hindus. Now, Prime Minister, there are well-documented facts.